Hey collectors, Kurt from the CQ team here giving you guys another video and today I have just received a package. We have the Pokemon Scale World Sinnoh Set 1. I'm really really excited. This I think this is the first uh, set that we got this year, this 2022. So yeah, let's take a closer look at the box and then let's get to it and crack this thing open. So yeah, we have six boxes inside. Ooh really really interested on these so yeah let's uh let's open them one by one so first off we got the uh let's just move it around there we got the turtwig piplup and the printplup the printplup looks really really cute really excited so yeah let's open it up so yeah oh my god you got yeah really really excited haven't really opened a new pokemon scale world figure in a very very long time Pour them all down like that. Got the third twig. Shocks, damn. Oh my god. Who bit you? Someone bit my third twig. Has a bite mark. Why do you have a bite mark? So dirty. Whoa. Okay. So kind of jinxed uh, the figures that I got. I do. I did get a bad box, and in addition to that, I did get bad paint on my third twig. So yeah, that poor me, but I don't really mind, you know, it, it's a quality control issue. And there's nothing, not really much you can do about it unless you're rich, like other collectors that buy doubles of it. Here we got the Piplup. Piplup looks really, really nice. Looking really good over there. Piplup is my girlfriend's favorite Pokemon. And you have here the Printplup. Printplup looks really, really chubby. Looks really cute. I love the details. Actually, did come out really nice. So unfortunately, my uh, my third wig did come out not not the way I wanted to. But at least we get two good light blue penguins with good paint apps. Looking really nice. Next up that we have we have the Chimchar and Monferno. Yeah, so we have Chimchar over here. My Chimchar look came out really, really nice. Ah, oh, damn, that looks really, really cool. The orange and the light yellow came out nicely. So yeah, I'm really, really happy about this figure. And then we have the Monferno. Now, I love the Monferno. The fighting pose of this Monferno looks really, really nice. And the fire. Wow, the fire is really, really strong. Let's see if it can stand up on its own. And it does stand up on its own. And really, really nice. But yes, let us let us utilize uh, all the stands, all the all the um, materials that it comes with. Do you want to maximize the, uh, the money that we paid for in this set? By the way, I did get this for around... Uh, around 30 dollars more or less so yeah that is a pretty good deal for all of these figures looking really nice uh, the only gripe i do have with these sets is that uh it didn't come with any other pokemon so yeah so we have infernape surprise that infernape isn't really that tall but yeah uh really really nice that we get an infernape figure so yeah let's uh let's build this Infernape, surprise how small it is. Um, I'm actually really curious uh, if uh, on how tall or how bulky and big Torterra is. So it does, as you guys can see, it does have a peg on the middle, so you don't get oh, so you don't get confused on this. It is in a uh, in a angry pose you know looking really really nice looking really mad at you so yeah the flame did transfer to his head and yeah looking really nice so infernape is technically a blaziken ripoff don't uh, comment down below if you guys don't agree with me damage on this empoleon damn it so yeah it does happen a lot so we should uh, we should be 
bit more careful with our shipping but i hate the fact that we can't do anything about it but yeah to be honest guys i am a distributor of uh, pokemon scaler i'm an authorized reseller in the philippines and yeah uh, some of the boxes did come badly but yeah i chose the bad box the worst box rather on my batch just so i can serve my customers better uh just so i can give them uh, the better box in case they you know they want to keep it sealed or you know just for them to enjoy all the uh just to let them enjoy the whole package of the pokemon scale world i'll just get this uh bad box uh, since i would be opening it so i don't really mind getting a bad box so yeah enough with the talking let's get on with this empoleon you guys can see the all the powder blue uh or uh, are all gone and we do get a change of blue the empoleon looks really cool wow it's a bit too stiff you know it's like it's like that kind of uh that kind of pokemon that you know feels like that doesn't kind doesn't really feel flexible yeah we do have the Koki. As you guys can see, it is it is stated that there is a DP version. So this is the Diamond and Pearl version. Uh, Sinnoh set two, we do get the uh, Platinum version. So yeah, do um, do stick your eyes out for the Sinnoh set two. Really, really excited to get. It. I believe it would arrive later in May, May or June, uh, probably on that date. Not really sure. But yeah, we do get a Lucas figure. This is Lucas. And he is so pale. I'm so surprised at how white this is. I mean, compared to the other figures that I have, on, I'm surprised that this guy is a probably too much, uh, spent too much time in Snow Point City. So yeah, you have here uh, not much, not lot much going on in, on the Seoul area. We do have some nice red shoes, some blue cargo pants as well as a scarf a scarf and we have a really really nice pokeball uh pokeball themed backpack and a pokeball themed uh hat and yeah and i think he is in a battle pose preparing for a battle you know with his um uh, really really nice pose we have the last one and we got dawn dawn is one of my uh one of the oh damn he she is really pale as well so the paint apps did come out really pale but i don't really mind because you know we do have this uh if this is their own version of it i just wish that they'd they'd be consistent with uh the paint next time to other figures so yeah here we have the dawn oh i love the dawn because of the pink the pink skirt pink boots and we do have a yellow yellow uh handbag uh, which is a match with the lucas figure and we have the white and pink uh bonnet as well another and another match with the lucas figure and it does come with a stand and we do also oh yeah we do have a scarf as well which is a match as well as the lucas figure and that is the whole Sinnoh set one looking really nice guys so yeah let's do some size comparisons so here are some of some of the figures that i posed them with we have the red the red figure pikachu and charizard not really much to uh pose them with but yeah as you guys can see how small infernape is compared to a um fire type starter and we do have red as you can see, red is uh, just stands uh, slightly the same. Uh, Lucas d does stand a bit taller. As you can see that, and we have Pikachu, which I just give you guys an idea. I always post this Pikachu on my reviews, and yeah, well, those are some really really nice looking characters. I'm really really excited because of how new these are. As you can see here and there here are these guys compared to uh, Pikachu you can see Pikachu is a bit chubby and big compared to the other trainer uh, figures out there so yeah um looking that those are some really really nice figures 
Here's another size comparison that I want to point out. We have all the fire starters in their third evolution form uh, next to Infernape. And I am really, really surprised how small Infernape is. And yeah, um, not really sure if this is the accurate height, but it probably is. But yeah, you guys can see how big these three are compared to uh, this Infernape figure. Didn't really stand much. But yeah, I know how powerful Infernape is, you know, of course, in the Ash vs. Paul series, I did see them, you know, beat <laughs> these guys <laughs> up to Vire and all and Paul's team. So yeah. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. And yeah, I'm really, really happy about this Sinnoh set one. The only gripe I do have is I wish that it did come with other... A Pokemon figure such as I don't know maybe a, a Bieberel or a, a Weasel But overall I am really really happy and I wish that uh, I'm really really surprised of the hype of these Sinnoh Characters and yeah overall this set is of course a mu must get because of uh, It is essential to your collection because it is a starter set so yeah uh hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll catch you guys on the next one peace